Some people say I'm a tool. I have a tool. But more importantly, let me tell you about the news. Let's hear it. A dusty and rusty mess of a 1973 Ford Falcon left in a shed over three decades was auctioned off this week for over $215,000. Australian Ford Falcon GA XT Hardtop RPO 83 Manual Coupe, the predecessor of the model used in the Basis Pursuit Special Featured Sci-Fi Classic, Mad Max. $250,000 for what car? Uh, God RP bless America, it's the RP HQT sophisticated and me. Early this morning, the FBI, IRS, US Secret Service, and Florida law enforcement placed the 17-year-old in Tampa, Florida under arrest. Accusing him of being the mastermind behind the biggest security and privacy breach in Twitter's history. One that took over the accounts of President Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Kanye. And also a huge Bitcoin scam on July 15th. The mastermind 17-year-old that takes it, it was over $100,000 in 60 seconds. I wish I or could take minutes. 49 cents in one second. I don't even know how to use computers. The U.S. Postal Service is experiencing day-long packages of mail across the country after a top Trump donor running the agency put in place procedures described as cost-cutting efforts alarming postal workers who warned the policies could undermine the ability to deliver ballots on time for the November date. Do you like the Postal Service? What do you, what do you think about it? Oh, uh, yeah, service? I love the Postal Service. They bring my Amazon to my door. As the popularity of electric cars is on the rise, so is the need to charge the cars. In a partnership with EVGO, General Motors just announced that they are going to be adding more than 2,700 fast chargers over the next five years. The EVGO chargers can charge a variety of vehicles, even a Tesla. GMCO Mary Barra said that the company is focused on serving metropolitan areas where people that live in apartments without access to charging systems. Do you have any plans this weekend? Well, if not, tune into Lollapalooza's 2020 live stream. Instead of a physical event, Lollapalooza, which is the popular music festival typically held in Chicago, is holding a free live streaming event on YouTube. The live stream begins at 5 p.m. every night from Thursday to Sunday. There will be 150 performances that include a mix of archival performances from previous years and original performances from the likes of Hali Uchi, Vic Minsa, and more. After extreme efforts and over $180 million spent to build a bubble on the Disney campus, basketball is finally back. And wow, it was a good night. The New Orleans Pelicans narrowly beat the Utah Jazz with a score of 106 to 104. Led by LeBron James, the Lakers beat the Clippers by two with a final score of 101 to 103. At the beginning of each game, all players, coaches, and referees gathered near the Black Lives Matter lettering on the floor and knelt for the national anthem. Yeah, I saw a couple of highlights from the game, and LeBron was just going off. LeBron James. LeBron James. Thank you for tuning in to the Ibble Bit Show. Remember, you can now push your very own videos onto our platform. We invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in to Ibble Bits, and we'll see you next time. Hey, you still there? Have you followed us on our IG or downloaded us yet? Do so before the aliens come and find me.